Hey, what's up guys? Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. And many of you use desktop virtualization for your home lab environment. And it is a great place to start with a home lab. And maybe that's all you need. VMware Workstation Pro has been a solution and a platform that many have used as a basis for a home lab environment. Recently, VMware released VMware Workstation 17 Pro with many new features. I want to go through those features with you guys and see how those have improved the platform, how you can use these new features in the home lab. So stick around, let's dive into desktop virtualization with VMware Workstation 17 Pro new features. new features of VMware Workstation 17 Pro, and there are many to speak of. I'm going to hit the highlights of this release of VMware Workstation Pro, features that I feel like you guys are going to greatly benefit from in the desktop virtualization space in your home lab environment, development, or POCs, whatever you're using VMware Workstation for. Just simply playing around with new things as we all like to do. One of the things that VMware Workstation 17 Pro has improved upon is guest operating support. VMware usually with each release it will include official support for guest operating systems that have been released from the likes of Microsoft, the uh, Linux distributions that we all use and love, as well as many others. This is no exception with VMware Workstation Pro 17. You're going to find many new options for your guest operating system support with VMware Workstation 17. In fact, if I just click through the wizard a bit, I'm going to show you guys the additional options that we have. For Microsoft Windows, VMware has added official support for Windows 11. Now, I know many of you are saying this, that with VMware Workstation 16.x, we could run Windows 11. And I have been doing that for months now and have had no issues. However, it's nice to have the official support with VMware Workstation and that operating system. And there are additional benefits as I click through this wizard. If I select Windows 11 x64 and we click Next, one of the things that you're going to notice that is new, aside from the new guest operating systems, is this screen, the encryption information screen. Now, VMware has added a lot of features, capabilities, and functionality around encryption with VMware Workstation 17 Pro. One of those features is the ability to now have what VMware refers to as fast encryption. If you're working with a guest operating system that requires a TPM module, such as Windows 11, you need to have that guest operating system encrypted. This option allows us to now choose the encryption type. So before there was only one option, you just encrypted the full virtual machine. However, now it's really interesting. There is a new fast encryption option and it is the option only the files needed to support a TPM are encrypted. And notice it gives us the examples of what that uh, refers to. It's the NVRAM, the VMSS file, VMIM, VMX, VMSN. So those critical files that we must have encrypted to use a proper TPM module, this is now possible with VMware Workstation 17 Pro. Now, if you select the top option, all the files, VMDK, VMX, etc., basically encrypting the entire virtual machine as we have been able to do previously. This is still secure. It's still a secure method. Benefit of having this fast encryption is you're not having to sit and wait for your large large VMDK to be encrypted simply to create a virtual machine that is Windows 11. So this is a great benefit. We can select the fast encryption option, create a password, and then move uh, along uh, in the creation of the virtual machine process. Now, another thing that you're going to notice on the encryption information screen is this option. Remember the password on this machine in Credential Manager. So now, when we create a virtual machine in VMware Workstation 17 Pro, we can have the 
encryption information or that encryption password remembered in Credential Manager so you're not having to type that password to unlock the virtual machine to start it. What is the use case for that? Well, one of the reasons that you can now save this credential information is another new feature in VMware Workstation that I think is really fantastic. It's something that really we've all asked for and wanted for quite some time, and that is the auto start VM option. Now, I know what many of you are saying. I've been auto starting VMs in VMware Workstation for quite some time. There are scripts that you can create. There are ways that you can do that with legacy versions of VMware Workstation. However, this is a slick new way to do this built right into VMware Workstation. And as you can see with the virtual machines that I have in this instance of VMware Workstation 17 Pro, I can select to auto start these VMs. Now, what this means is when I reboot my host workstation, when this workstation comes back online, it will auto start the virtual machines that I have selected to auto start. And note how you can select the start order. You can simply click in, you can type in the order that you want the virtual machines to start in, and it will save that information and start the VMs in that particular order. So this is a great new feature that I think, especially if you're using a workstation class machine as your home lab, that you've got extra memory, you've got extra compute power, when you reboot that host, this is going to allow this host to function more like a server environment where you are more hands off. You can restart the machine. However, you know that your virtual machines are going to be brought back online as soon as that workstation restarts. I think this is a great new feature that many using VMware Workstation as their home lab environment will certainly appreciate. In addition to the new encryption options found in VMware Workstation 17 Pro, it also supports TPM 2.0, and it does that natively. And it's aware of operating systems that require the TPM device, such as Windows 11. Previous to VMware Workstation 17 Pro, when you created a Windows 11 VM, you would have to manually encrypt that virtual machine and then add the TPM module as part of your virtual hardware. VMware Workstation 17 Pro has that intelligence built in. When we create a guest operating system that requires the TPM module, VMware Workstation 17 Pro will automatically add that trusted platform module. As you can see here, I didn't have to manually add this trusted platform module in this Windows 11 virtual machine that was automatically done for me. As we saw when we stepped through the wizard, it knows when we create Windows 11, we need to encrypt that virtual machine and it will also need that TPM module. So we don't have to worry about that any longer with Windows 11 and other operating systems requiring that TPM module. In addition to the new features that we've already highlighted, VMware Workstation 17 Pro supports other great new features such as OpenGL 4.3, Windows Display Driver Model 1.2, as well as other enhancements. What do you guys think about desktop virtualization? Are you using desktop virtualization as your home lab environment? I think it's a great way to get started in a home lab as you can use a piece of hardware as a dual purpose productivity machine as well as hosting home lab resources if you don't want to invest in dedicated hardware for that. VMware Workstation 17 Pro contains many great new features we've highlighted that I think will be of benefit to the home lab community. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys soon.